right, so here I'm back with this. I did try it a little bit. Um, didn't do it very long. I wasn't getting very many bubbles out of it. But the water did start turning blue really quickly. It was probably only after about a minute. And you can see the uh, one half of the pipes are all starting to turn green. So I made a little bit of a change. I took that center one and pounded it down a little bit. I think it was holding pressure underneath because I could see bubbles forming underneath the cap. And then as I would rock it back and forth, it would come to the top. So I popped that one down so I have a little bit of an opening. Um, but I can tell already that this isn't going to work very well with the copper. You can see how green everything is. So we'll give it a whirl. I'm going to try a couple things different and see what happens. I'm going to toss in a secret weapon here. A little electrolyte. I don't know how much to use, but here we go. Alright, so there's the water. i got my, my little boy helping me here. Bud? Yeah. All right, so we're getting a little high in water, so I'm gonna dump a little bit out. All right, so here we go. I got this one bolted on for ease, so I can record with one hand. I'll put the negative on. I got some pretty good action here. We got 13 amps DC. Got about 13 volts. We definitely got some good stuff going on. Something's happening. Alright, so that was after maybe a couple minutes, and you can see how blue the water's turning already. I think that's just the copper starting to get corrosive right away. Blue and nasty. Right, so just to show you how nasty this water is. Ooh, that's a pretty cover. This is after I'd say maybe two minutes. At 13 amps and then it started to drop pretty quickly down to 8 amps. Now we got all the water dumped out, we can see a little bit better what was happening here. So this was the positive side, this is the negative side. You can see that the positive side is where the oxygen is actually forming and it's oxidizing really fast. But what's really cool I think is these center bars, they're like split completely in half so you can see that the where the electricity was flowing through where the oxygen and hydrogen was being formed. So, it's pretty cool. So I pulled the center tube out now. You can actually see pretty clearly what this looks like. Clearly this uh, didn't work very well or for very long. But, I guess you can see why copper doesn't work. Other than that, completely satisfying. Because this looks pretty cool.